trying to get some sort of a scheduled time. Yeah. We're not perfect. We're grown kids TV. Yeah. Yeah, we don't... We're not very good at mature schedules, schedules no. budgets. Nothing. Yeah. Okay, welcome back to Grown Kids TV with myself, Mike, and Lindsay. We've kind of been taking a break. You guys probably don't know because we're so backed up in videos that we kept putting them out and we still have even more to put out. We had a nice little break, just a little getaway to our hometown, uh, see some family and stuff, but that's what we really like to do. And when we got back, if you guys saw on Instagram, and it's probably a while ago now, uh, the whole Jeep was like filled with boxes. So we have so many boxes to do. Uh, and boxes were from Spastic, and Smy, and Pop King Paul, and a gift or two, and um, we, Professor Josh, and we won a Professor Josh mystery box, so there's two mystery boxes in one. So a whole bunch of stuff, yeah. plus some personal things. Yep. Including, finally, instead of using the scissors, I bought the most ridiculous knife. It, yeah. Which may not work at all, who knows? I guess we'll find out. Oh, I totally wait. forgot that you bought it until he opened it and was like, look at this! And I was like, <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, you're gonna, you guys are gonna like it. Maybe, who knows? So for today, what do we got, Lindsay? What's this one? This is the Great Chase for Colonel Sanders from Spastic. Yep, the limited so edition one. They are $15 each. We have three in here. And then, I don't know what this is. This is a $200 Spastic Collectibles Designer Mystery Box. The Designer Toys one? Designer Toys Mystery Box. Oh, okay. There may be a Ninja Turtle toy in there or something. That'd be pretty cool. Speaking of Ninja Turtles, if you saw it in the thumbnail to this, if I used it as a thumbnail, uh, we got our BAM box. And we don't really like to open the BAM box on video, but we do like to bring up some highlights. Yeah. So let's bring those highlights up. So we opened our BAM box, and this is Vine 5 Box 5. And one thing we got in it. Super adorable Joe Exotic pin. I really like his little tiger that he's got with him. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. So that's pretty cool and it's fun for pop culture, which is what this is. Yep. Uh, and then we kept going. And it had this pretty cool, just want to show it off. This pretty cool Scarlett Johansson. Uh, Black Widow, and then in the background you see Taskmaster, so that's pretty cool uh, for the upcoming movie, which I'm really excited about. Uh, and that's some um, uh, fan art there. And then the best part for us is this Ninja Turtles. Yep. Autographed by the voice of Michelangelo. Uh, and then I found out, fun fact, that he's also the voice for the Tick. That is right. In the cartoon, which I didn't know. Um, we just recently started watching Tick on Hulu, Amazon, Netflix. One of those. One of those three. Yeah. So that was from Bandbox. That's really cool. Uh, so today's featured Funko, and Lindsay hasn't seen this yet. I have not. What is it? What is it? <gasps> oh my gosh, he's got his pancakes with him. Is this Chili Willy, and inside... He has the pancakes and he's got his little fork and knife. Oh my god. And it's so adorable. Uh, now, I'm a big fan of penguins, and Chili Willy was one of my favorite penguins as a kid growing up. Uh, he's from the Woody Woodpecker show, and it's really cool. I don't know if he had his own cartoon. He might have had his own cartoon. Uh, I think I might still even have his coloring book from when I was a kid. Aw, that's adorable. Okay, I want to take it out and like put the pancakes somewhere. <laughs> but really this. Cute. This one's super affordable. Uh, it's it's just a common. It's really fun. So what we're gonna do is put a link to the description for the Amazon uh, link for this, uh, as well as the Amazon link for my cool knife that's coming up. Okay, so before we jump into this this amazing unboxing, mainly because of how we unboxed it, uh, I want to let you know. Hey, if you're interested in this stuff, if you like the stuff, you've seen our channel a couple times, never seen it all, and you wanted to watch it, hit the subscriber button. And if you really care to, put notifications on, because uh, we usually drop random times. So we're trying to get more, we're trying to get better at it, but... Trying to get some sort of a scheduled time. Yeah. We're not perfect. We're grown kids TV. Yeah. Yeah, we don't, we're not very good at mature schedules, schedules no. 
budgets. Nothing. Yeah. Speaking of not budgeting, here's our three fifteen dollars. So there's three. You got to order three at a time. Uh, and this is from Spastic. It's the Hunt for the Limited Edition Colonel Sanders. We have got a top hit from Spastic in one of these hunts before, so it is possible. Yep. Right? And either way, they're usually pretty good pops. Yeah. So now let's check out how we're going to unbox this. So I got this little tin here, and you say, hey, that's weird. How can you get, you know, what are you going to use in that to open this? And the answer is... The cutest little knife. This is my favorite little knife. It look, yeah, it looks like it's focusing. It's so small, it's having a hard time focusing. And then it comes with a little sheath, and you open it up. And then, oh my gosh. <laughs> so this, and this is good, right? So we don't cut too far into the box. Yeah. Uh, it seems pretty sturdy, actually. I'm pretty impressed. It's got a hole through the the handle, so you can actually put it on a pendant or like a necklace. So you can always have, uh, you know, obviously with this on, so you don't do the running kids on stairs thing. And it's pretty good for these boxes, nice. hopefully, because you don't cut too far into there too. Oh, it's a pretty good cut as well. Yeah, it looked like it went pretty nicely. Yeah, just got to learn how to use it. So this one's yeah, just it's going to be different. It's very the, small. It is very small. And bam, look at that. Baby size. Okay. All right. And these are in individual boxes in here. Yep, three sorters. So we're going to pull these out. And like usual, you get your spastic sticker. All right. So none of these are very heavy, so I don't think there's a hard stack or anything. Yeah. And now we're just going to check these out. So Lindsay is going to go first and last. Okay. And let's get our little delivery system up here. So this is obviously a great hit, however, because of Lindsay's super love for Buddy the Elf already, we, already have we obviously already have this one. But this would be an amazing hit. We went way out of our way at the very beginning before we really got into these to get this. So we do have this one, Yep. but that is awesome one. That's the one where he's fighting the raccoon from that scene. <laughs> That's right. such a good scene. My box. Hey, we got the red baseball. We have fury. not gotten this one, I don't think. We've never got the red baseball fury. We've Only got the blue. We got the blue on thirty-seven times. Yep. That's a, that's an exaggeration, but probably not by much, which is good because that blue one was worth money. It was. It First was one a we sold for hit. a lot, and then it started going down. We still got forty like each time at least for yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the red baseball fury is very cool looking. Yep. And that one that we've gotten before. So yeah, we've never cool. got that. All right, last one. It's probably not Colonel Sanders, but you never know. Oh, what are the odds on this? All right, so Carrie King, we got this recently from a Rob Pops mystery box. So it's funny, we actually got all three of these sort of, just not the same color. Uh, and they, a lot of people are like, hey, check out the back of Carrie King's head. So we're gonna do that right now and let everybody see it. So this is the back of Carrie King's head, which everyone said, hey, check it out, check it out. And it's actually really cool. It's got this giant size tattoo. Because I mentioned the tattoos on this one yep. in that video. And then everybody's like, check that out. So that's what it looks like for you guys at home. Didn't you get to see it? We are back from Pop Price Guide. And Buddy the Elf with his raccoon is $12. Carrie King is $13. And Baseball Fury is $25. So for this box of 3 times 15, uh, we came out on top, which is pretty good. Not bad. And we didn't get our hit, but that's the hit or miss style of these. Yeah. Uh, and so it's worth picking up, you know, a $15 chance at a good grail. That's real glitchy. Let's just restart it next time. All right, now the big bugger. $200, uh, guaranteed value, it is guaranteed value by Spastic, okay. and our last designer toys one, it was $100, and we got the black and gray cub bear, and we got the gray scale uh, urban devil. That was, that was a pretty cool box. Yeah, and it was very fun, and it was a good introduction into the designer toys. So we got our sticker. <laughs> 
we got the values and invoice, it looks like. All right. I remember last that. time we got an invoice. I don't want to look at it too much. Yeah, it looks like an invoice. All right, so we got some paper on top. And they just recently added a whole bunch of designer toys. So don't know what's going to be in this. It could be repeats of stuff. Who knows? You never know. All right, some bubble wrap. All right, Lindsay, let's <clears throat> you go ahead and dig in there and grab something. OK. Open that bubble wrap up. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna go with this first. What? Oh, it's one of the little elephant guys. Okay. All right. So. Same brand does cup. Yep. This is Charlie the Elephant Angry. Charlie the Angry Elephant. <laughs> I, I don't know, maybe I should have to read it upside down, who knows. But very cool. I and am very curious to see what one it is. Yeah, I mean there's the pink one, the green one, the brown one. Uh, it's called the Mothership, the one that looks like uh, a camo type thing and a pink type camo. I want the blue one. The Tenacious Toys. Yeah. So Tenacious Toys and Martian Toys are our picks. Yep. They're going to be pretty cool too. Uh, and let's see. Oh, we didn't get it. Oh. We got, I think, artist exclusive. Oh, it's cute. The one that the box it's actually like little, looks like. Little pink. Like and speckled. white speckles, like paint spots. So this is Charlie the Angry Elephant, and this is the artist exclusive. That's really cool. That is cool. I haven't looked on their website in a while to see like what designer toys they have. So. I know there was there was one set that I was gonna buy. Not really. Maybe set. we'll get. Well, maybe we'll get it. Yeah. So that's really cool. First thing that I pulled out. All right. Feels like we have two more things. I don't know what's going to be the better thing, so I'm going to take all that. Maybe that might be the better thing. This is very heavy. I have zero clue what this is. This Cubic almost like, series? This almost looks like a Mario ba -bomb, <clears throat> bomb. Yeah. Bomb guy. Ba bomb bomb guy. I don't know what this is. Cubic series. And, oh, this is one of Sink toys. What? Sink. So I do know about Sink. They they post all their Sink stuff. Yeah, the big head guys, the underwater guys. Yep, yep. Now I don't know if that's what this is going to be. Probably not. But it's probably by the same people. So what we're going to do is after we open these, we're going to after we open the box, we're going to go through and research and find out what this is. And we're not going to open it just yet. Okay. Let's see what we've got. One more one thing. One big in bugger here. left. All right. What? <laughs> uh, Balloon Dunny. This is really cute. This is from Kid Robot. And Kid Robot is actually the people that make uh, what I want, which was the Ninja Turtles. Kid Robot makes the Ninja Turtles, so I might go buy those. This is like $43 a piece, not too it bad. It looks like the front of this box opens. It does. Oh, we got the blue one! Got the little blue bugger. So we didn't get the blue elephant, but we got the blue bunny. That's really cool. I don't know anything about these. Yeah, they got the, they got weights and strings and collect them before they float away. So one real fun thing that we like about these spastic designer toys is we don't know a lot about them. So we're learning about them pretty much at the same pace that anybody out there that's watching this that doesn't know anything is learning about it. Yep. Uh, and all we've got so far is two designer toys uh, in one box and we got a, spast a super plastic in another box. Uh, so that's all we know and now we're starting to learn more and research more and watch other channels about it. So let's go. We're going to go take a look at the values of these and everything and what they are and we'll be back. All right, so we just got back from the values and checking the Spastic website as well as eBay. Uh, and one really good thing about Spastic is when they put their values on, they're pretty accurate of what they actually sell for. Uh, like we said before, a lot of times we've got mystery boxes from a local comic book store, and what they'll do is they'll put all their clearance stuff in a box, 
and then they'll be like, hey, this is $75 worth of stuff. And you open up it's a pair of socks that were on clearance for 50 cents and like three other things. And I guess at the beginning it was $75. Uh, but this is the actual price that these go for uh, is really close to what Spastic puts as their values. So Charlie the Angry Elephant and Balloon Dunny, and this is a cyan one, this is the blue one, uh, are both $54.99 according to their values as well as their website. Uh, and then, what's this guy, Lindsay? This is the steamed salted fish. Okay, so it is by Sank, and it's the little cube fish that they have. Uh, they're very crazily detailed and really cool looking, but not our thing. It's just, uh, we like cute stuff, and this fish is not the cutest thing. It's not. So, we are going to keep this sealed, and what we'll do is we'll put a picture up so that you can see what it looks like. Yep, so this is what it looks like. Uh, and like you can see, it's really cool looking. Yeah, it's just, it's we just don't not, Yeah, like it's not our thing. Fish. <laughs> we're, not, we're not big fish things. Um, yeah. But this is, it's a really cool thing, and the value on this is ridiculous. Yeah. The value on this is $150, which puts a total value of this box per spastic, uh, what they sell these for, is $260. That's insane. That's that's incredible, considering this was $200 shipped. Yeah. So this was shipped to us for $199.99, and there's $260 worth of stuff in here. So if Designer Toys is your thing, the Spastic Mystery Boxes are incredible. Yeah, they really are. This is our second one we've got, and they're way over overvalued. They're really awesome. I was kind of hoping for an intro thing. We like these two guys. This one's not really as much our choice. The last box we got was really cool. Yeah. And then in the up balloon one, we got the super plastic, which is the coolest guy. The little pink guy, cactus looking guy. Yep, he's right behind me. Yep. So really cool box, crazy overvalue, and is getting us further and further into the designer toys. Mm -hmm. uh, so we like where it's going. Thanks, Spastic, for another foot into the designer toys aspect of collecting. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a lot of fun, and it was a great box. We really appreciate it. You've been watching Grown Kids TV. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.